Hi everybody, Robin here at Toadstool Tarot, and I'm excited today because I got a lovely gift package from my friend Ramon at Moon Scarab Channel, and it was filled with all sorts of divinatory items. One of them was this lovely pendulum. Now, I have a couple of pendulums. I don't have any with any kind of crystal or stone on them. Mine are all either wood or metal. And I haven't had such great luck at using them. But we'll see if this one fares better for me. Next, he included these, what he calls, I think, moon coins three coins that you have a, a light side or I guess full moon and dark side or what is that new moon no moon I don't know but anyway I think how you use these is for yes and no questions that if you have either all white it's positive result if you have all black it's a negative result and if you have a combination uh, like two and one, then it's more likely positive than negative and vice versa. So that's interesting. I do have a few um, yes and no coins, but this is a little bit different for me. Next, he included a huge number of colorful dice. Now, he didn't send a note, so I'm not really sure what to do with all these. Um, there are five white dice, one black, one clear, one blue, one green, one yellow, one red, and one pink. Now, I have a set of dice um, that I've used, um, one of them is a black 22-sided die, and I had an extra one, so I'm going to send that to him as a thank you. And then I have four other ones that are 14-sided uh, die for each of the suits, so it's essentially a tarot deck in dice. You have the 22 for a major, a major card, and each of the four 14 ones um, for each of the other suits. And I think I have uh, green for earth or pentacles, um, red for wands uh, or fire, um, blue for water or cups, and... Uh, I think I have purple for air. What color is air? Anyway, those work pretty well. I, these are all that he sent me are all um, six-sided, you know, regular die, dice. Um, so I'm not really sure how to work with those, but maybe he'll send me a note or maybe I can find a video on his channel to figure out the best way to use them. Another thing he sent me were, were these geomancy or geomantic sticks. They're, it's hard to show you this way. There are four of them and one side has a single dot and the other side has two dots on each of the four sticks and you shake them up and roll them out and then it creates sort of a four row equivalent of an I Ching uh, hexagram although what would you call a four four when a quantogram quadogram I don't know anyway it creates this pattern and I think there are 16 different combinations you can get and there's a chart or probably books that you could look up and 
figure out what the how to interpret them. So I'm going to have to do that and make some notes. I've viewed a couple already, and it doesn't look like a very difficult pattern to learn and memorize, but um, I only viewed it twice, and I didn't commit it to memory yet, so I can't read with these yet, but soon I shall be able to. And I'm really excited to have these. Lastly, uh, he sent me and he also sent a bunch of these little velvet bags to store stuff in. Lastly, he sent me something that I admired. Um, and this was the main reason of our interaction. Um, the Mexican lottery cards, which he had done. Now, I had found um, a, a copy of these online that I think... I can't remember if I did a walkthrough of this or not. Uh, but the problem with these is the um, paper cardstock quality is really poor. And um, I mean, it was cheap on Amazon. It's like under $10, maybe even $5. i am not sure. But uh, just was I, I think in my original shuffling of them, I creased or been a card already so that's not good but these were supposed to be linen so I thought oh I wonder if I could get a hold of a copy of those be much uh, better to preserve them with that and uh, so he sent me this because I had admired them and um, they are linen stock these are the backs and they're actually I forget how many are in the original package maybe 54 I think it might be 54 uh, and he's added more from 58 up to 81 so there's some extras here I'm not sure where the images came from the style of the image is a little bit different so maybe there were two different Mexican lottery games or something I'm not sure but I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of these. And, oh, I also, I don't have the instructions with these. I'm going to have to look that up online. Um, watching video walkthroughs of them, I paused at each one, and they weren't difficult to sort of read or figure out. And you probably could just use your intuition and do it. But, um, the and these are in Spanish. So it might be a little bit harder to, uh, for me to learn or commit to memory, but I don't speak Spanish. But they're fun. Um, they're kind of old fashioned, they're colorful. And um, I'm really gonna enjoy having them in my collection. Now, I don't generally use oracle cards, and I don't know if this is, I guess this is sort of considered an oracle, but there are a number of different kinds of oracles. And this one is not giving me keywords or phrases. It's just giving me images that uh, it sort of reminds me actually of the um, Lenormand where you have a symbolic image on each card. Now I'm not sure how you work these, whether you lay out a grand tableau or um, different uh, spreads for their use or just pull single single cards or three card spreads I'm, I'm not really sure I have to do a little bit more investigating but it's exciting to have these as a new alternative to the regular cards I use which in most cases is the tarot RWS system. I do have some Marseille as well 
and a couple different size copies of the Thoth, which I haven't really gotten into. When it comes to oracles, I have a handful, and some work better for me than others. Generally, I go by the imagery and not so much uh, cards that have keywords or phrases because I don't always identify in the same way with keywords or phrases as the creators of the cards. And in the same way, um, these, I might veer a little bit off course from whatever the designated keyword is to what keyword the image makes me think of. So I may be using these a little bit more intuitively than strictly following the, the system uh, assigned to Mexican lottery cards. Or is it La Loteria? Yes. Now, I don't know what else is out there available online. When I went looking on Amazon, I just originally chose the quickest, cheapest one I could find that looked decent. And as I said, the cardstock wasn't very good. Now, it seems only natural that they were made in Mexico, and I found, uh, not, to, not to put a stereotype on it, but a lot of the Mexican products, while being colorful and creative, are not, um, to my mind, the best quality um, base materials. What's the word I should use? The card stock wasn't the greatest. Now, I, I don't know how Ramon had these done. They are, they are a little glossy. It looks like they have some kind of a coating on them, and I'm not sure what company he used to produce them, I guess. I'm guessing he scanned them from a set that he had, or more than one set and then um, possibly did some editing or alteration and then had them printed up and they're quite nice. They're sort of playing card side. They're relatively stiff. I don't know, I don't know much about card stock, but they feel pretty good. They look like they'll be really easy to shuffle. Now I tend to shuffle overhand so that's probably best anyway now we get into it the extra cards which seem to be a different quality different illustration style I'll have to look up if anybody knows what La Paloma is is it the bird, the pigeon? Um, I'm not sure. Got a yo yo. El Payaso, which I'm assuming is a clown. Pinata. These are not, strictly speaking, Mexican sourced images because here is an elephant. And I doubt anyone's ever seen an elephant in Mexico, except in a zoo. Now, 
Now, part of me wishes these didn't have numbers on them because then I could sort of pick and choose a la carte what I wanted to turn into my own Oracle deck just from the images, which I could still do anyway, but it would kind of would bother my mind, muddle my mind aesthetically to have random images with numbers that don't don't seem complete, you know, that there'd be some numbers missing. Cibola. I guess they're onions. Now that one's interesting. There's a guitar and I think in the lower numbers is a guitar player. So it'll be interesting to check out the distinction between those. Oh, look at that lovely witch. And I'm assuming this is for good luck, this horseshoe. So thanks for uh, visiting with me for a bit today to see what came in this lovely surprise package filled with possibilities and uh, can't wait to learn and you make use of them i will hopefully see you all again very soon i've got a couple orders in the works and we'll see what i have to share with you i also have some other thoughts and ideas about tarot that I want to poke around with and see how other people, people feel about it. So anyway, everybody take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.